we're going to talk about uh, the idea of like logical reasoning. I right here, reasoning. I wish I had reasoning. So here's how it goes. If you want to look at number nine, okay, there's a statement, okay? Any volunteer to read the statement loud so we can all understand? Anyone, anyone? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, go, please. Given A, B, C, and C, B, D form a linear pair Conjecture. Conje conjecture. Okay. Conjecture. Right. A B C <laughs> equals C B D. Okay, good. A B C and C B D. There you go. <laughs> situation. They say A B C and C B D form a linear pair. So that's a given statement. Conjecture is. Is that what you're going to ask? What a conjecture is? Yeah. yeah. What's conjecture? A conjecture is basically. This is a statement whether you have to prove whether it's true or false. Okay, so I propose that, so given, you know, we can call angle one and angle two. Angle one and angle two are a linear pair. Okay, the conjecture is that they're the same. True or false? True or false? Are one and two the same? Yeah. False. Yes. False. Okay, so what do you think? I think they just add up to 180 degrees. Right, right. So, um, let's talk about logic, all right? I, we, I asked you this yesterday. There was no one in here whose parents are attorneys. This is like, this is the backbone kind of behind legal defense or litigation, is finding exceptions, okay? So, if you're going to prove something false, you have to give what's called a counterexample, right? I'd recommend writing that word down. Counterexample. Meaning, if something is true, it has to be true all the time. If something is false, it can only be false once and that's enough. Does that make sense? If, yeah. you can, if, if I said a statement and you said it was false and gave me one time it was false, then you're right. But if I said a statement and said it was true, it has to be true all the time. So you said that one and, one and two are not necessarily equal. Can you give an example, a situation in which one is not equal to here? Now you're thinking. Let me, let me start you off. Angle one equals 100 angle degrees. Angle one equals 100 degrees. Angle two equals what, do you think? Yeah. 80. 80. So, given information is still true. Conjecture is false. They're not the same. So this conjecture is false. Yes? I have a question. Yes. 